Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building a cockroach 75 millimeter. So that is a little bit bigger than your normal size whoop. And hopefully what I'm hoping for is that it will be able to handle an Insta360 Go. And so maybe I can get some cool footage. I'm going to be running mine on two cell. Let's get straight into the parts that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be breaking it down uh, for pricing for you guys so you can see what the pricing would be to build this. First off, we do have the 75 millimeter frame from Newbie Drone. This does come with the carbon plate on the bottom. So that will hopefully help with rigidity on this frame. And that is very important for me because I'm gonna be running this thing on two cell. But this comes in at $7.99, so pretty much $8. The most expensive part you are gonna have on this build is the flight controller. This is your flight controller and also your receiver and then also your VTX all in one. This is a BLV3 from Newbie Drone and this comes in at $99.99, so $100. Third, we have our motors and these are the 0804 Newbie Drone flow motors. These are the two cell versions, so they're 12,000 kV. I haven't used these yet, so I'm excited to try these out and see how they perform, but these come in at $39.99 so pretty much $40. For the camera and canopy, we are gonna be using the canopy um, from Newbie Drone, which is the Goober canopy, and then also the camera, which is the BI camera. And this comes as a set, and that is $15, so $14.99. For the antenna for our VTX, we're gonna be using a Newbie Drone prototype antenna, and this does come in lighter than some of the other antennas in this class. This is a new antenna, and I've never tested it out. So I'm really excited to give that a try also. Then last of all, we have the 40 millimeter props from Newbie Drone. These are the Tri-Blade props, the Azi, or Aza, Easy. I don't know how to pronounce it, but <laughs> these are the 40 millimeter props and these come in at 399 uh, for the whole set. But that's what we're gonna be using on the props. So all the parts that we went over just now, that all comes to 176 and 94 cents. However, there are a couple other things that I'm going to be adding, but you don't have to add those. I'm going to be adding the TBS Nano RX. There is a receiver built into this, so you wouldn't have to add this, but I'm going to be using the TBS Nano RX for my receiver. And then I'm going to be using the Rush FPV micro antenna. And this frame actually has a little spot for a, to hook right in. So that works out perfect. One other thing I did forget to mention is the capacitor on my flight controller, I already have that soldered on, so I think that's the reason I forgot. But you can get two of those for $1.99, so they're pretty much a buck a piece. So those aren't bad, and you will want to run that, especially if you're running two cell, uh, you'll want to run a capacitor on there, just to clean up the voltage going through your flight controller. Okay, let's get straight into building. Let's go ahead and get the frame out of the package. This frame is the 75 millimeter frame, and it does come with the nice carbon bottom plate so that will help out with rigidity and that's very important for me because I'm running it on two cell. Let's go ahead and get the motors out of the package also. Uh, make sure to keep the screws in the little bag. That's what we're going to be using for mounting the motors. One thing I did go ahead and solder up my GMB 27 and also my capacitor on my flight controller and then on my receiver I already have that soldered up also. Let's go ahead and get the motors on the frame. The easiest way I found to put motors on the frame is to put the screw through the frame first and then go ahead and put the motor up to it and match up the holes and then go ahead and screw it. It's kind of hard putting your motor there first and then put, trying to put the screw in and matching it that way. I found the easiest is to put the screw in before you put the motor on.
Let's go ahead and get the flight controller put on because that's what we'll want on next. And now we're going to go ahead and attach the motors or plug them in. This is probably one of the easiest builds you're going to do just because it's pretty much all plug and play. And then you will want to bend up the capacitor a little bit so it's not running into your props. For the receiver, I am going to be using the Nano RX, like I said, and I already have mine soldered up with the old wire attachment or harness that they used to sell. Um, but now they have a new one, and this is sold by Newbie Drone. But this one, the colors are a little bit different, but you'll just want to solder up straight. If you're looking at the top, white will be the bottom black will be the next, red will be the third, and then the green wire will be the last one. But since I already have mine soldered up, I'm not going to solder on the new wiring harness. I'm just going to use the older one because that works great. And let's go ahead and get that plugged in. And then you can give the Nano RX wires a little bit of twist there, and so it cleans it up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and plug in our little antenna. And then on the back of the frame, they do have the areas for you to clip in that antenna. Let's go ahead and get our camera and our antenna, VTX antenna, um, hooked in right now. Sometimes it is kind of hard to get everything plugged in, but take your time. You'll eventually get it. And then we're going to go ahead and just stick the Nano RX back in there. I would suggest if you do have double side uh, sticky tape, definitely stick some on the bottom of that. And then just give it a light tap and stick it to your flight controller. Let's go ahead and get our screws put in on our flight controller. You don't want to make these too tight, but your first one will be the front one. And that one does have to go on before the canopy is attached. And then the other ones you'll put through the canopy. Let's go ahead and weigh this thing and see how much it weighs. So this is coming in at 35.38 with my Nano RX and everything. And then this is the primary battery that I'll be using. This is a Nitro Nectar 2 cell 300 milliamp battery. Let's go ahead and see how much this weighs with the Nitro Nectar on there. And with the 2 cell Nitro Nectar, that comes in at 53.45 grams. Thank you guys for joining me for this video. These videos are not easy to make and they take a lot of time so hopefully somebody found it helpful if you're building your first 75 millimeter whoop that type of thing hopefully you found this helpful if you have any questions definitely let me know down in the comments and i'll do my best to answer in the next couple videos we will be posting some flying footage of this thing some freestyle and then also i'm going to be sticking an insta 360 go on here and see what kind of cinematic footage i can get with this thing i'm hoping i can get some really cool footage being that this thing is so small and I can fly through some really tight spots. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.